Hi, welcome to Vegetrends, where we make eating your vegetables a whole lot more fun. My name is Mackenzie Hagland, and today I am in the kitchen with the recipe of the week. This week we are making spaghetti squash primavera. This is a spaghetti squash. I love this little vegetable. It's, to me, is so interesting what nature has created here. So I hope you'll stay tuned and see our recipe. Today I'm in the kitchen making spaghetti squash primavera. Before we get started, I'm going to go over the ingredients. One thing to remember when you're cooking using vegetables is you can so easily swap out what it is that you like, what are your flavor preferences. So don't be afraid to change recipes or to add or take away depending on what you like. I'm not always a mushroom fan depending on the kind of mushroom, so sometimes if a recipe calls for mushrooms, I will leave them out if I can't find the varieties of mushrooms I like, for example. So our list of ingredients for today includes spaghetti squash. I like to cook up a fairly large portion size. I'm going to use two spaghetti squash in this recipe. I have five carrots here ready to go, five cloves of garlic, two teaspoons of thyme. I'm going to use two zucchini in the recipe. About four stalks of celery will go in. I have a pre-made pasta sauce. I don't always use pre-made pasta sauce, but with this recipe I do like to use it. We have a can of organic pinto beans, some crushed tomatoes, and a purple cabbage. You can use any kind of cabbage. I like to use the purple variety just for some of the antioxidants that are in it, but whatever you find at the grocery store or have on hand is also great. So as you can see, this dish has a fairly simple list of ingredients. I'm gonna go ahead and get everything cut up and then we'll get it in the pot. The first thing you're gonna to wanna to do when cooking your spaghetti squash primavera is to get your spaghetti squash in the oven. The spaghetti squash itself is going to take about 45 minutes at 375 to soften and get to the nice stringy texture. So the first thing we need to do is get these cut. I've already cut one of them. We're going to cut a second one. Uh, what I like to do is put a towel down to keep it from rolling around because these guys are not easy to cut into. Uh, you want to turn the stem side away from you. And I put the knife down on it and then tap. Get a nice cut down into it. And once I've done that, I can put the knife right down into that crack through to the other side. Cut through the tail end. And then you want to cut down to that hard stem. Once you've done that, you can crack this puppy open, take your towel away. And what you want to do is clean these seeds out. There's a lot of nutritional value in the seeds. I recommend saving them and roasting them. I'm going to have to make another video on doing that. That's where a lot of your uh, dietary fat is going to be in your squash. Also a lot of fiber in the seeds. The spaghetti squash themselves have a lot of fiber. Once you have your spaghetti squash cut in half and the seeds removed, you can put these face down on a baking sheet. Because these can dry out, a lot of people like to put water in their baking pan. Uh, I've never really done that. I find that the spaghetti squash is fine, especially if you're putting it into a sauce. These are going to go in the oven at 375 for about 45 minutes. The skin on them will turn a somewhat translucent color and that's how you'll know they're done or close to done. We'll go ahead and get these in the oven and get to the rest of the recipe. I have all of my vegetables now cut up and I'm going to start by throwing just the carrots and the celery in a pan with a little bit of water and covering it up and simmering it for about 10 minutes to let the vegetables start to soften. So this is how I cut up my carrots. I like my carrots in fairly good sized chunks so they stay crispy and crunchy. So I'm going to go ahead and throw these in the pan along with the celery. And again, the celery is in fairly good sized pieces. I'm going to 
cover those up in the pan and cook them on about a medium heat for 10 minutes or so before I throw in more ingredients. Okay, so my carrots and celery have now been cooking for about 10 minutes. I'm going to throw in the next set of vegetables, which will be our cabbage, the zucchini, and the garlic. At this point, you may need to add a little bit more water. I'm going to throw in my cabbage, my zucchini, and the garlic. Stir that up a little. If I can keep it in the pan. I'm going to put the lid back on this. I'm going to cook it for another 10 minutes, let those vegetables simmer down a little bit more. Okay, so now it's been another 10 minutes. My celery, carrots, zucchini, cabbage, and garlic have had some more time to cook down. I'm going to add the rest of the ingredients. A can of crushed tomatoes, a can of pinto beans, and of course my thyme. Alright, so I'm going to let this cook down again with the lid on it for about another 10 minutes. Let the carrots soften up just a little bit more. I don't like my carrots too soft. Uh, if you like your vegetables a little bit softer, you can cook it a little longer. So my spaghetti squash are out of the oven. My primavera sauce has had an opportunity to cook down a little bit. Now what you want to do is just pull the meat away from the inside of the shell of the spaghetti squash. As you can see, we get a nice spaghetti texture. Now, if you're really careful while removing the meat from the inside of the squash rind, you can reuse these squash for your dinner bowls, which I think is kind of a fun way to serve this dish. So now you want to be careful. These guys are pretty hot. Once you've added the last of the spaghetti squash to your primavera, you want to stir it up really good. And then you have a couple of options. For me, I like to add my sauce right into the mix. I like my food to be mixed up. But your other option is to put your primavera into a bowl and then add some sauce over the top of it, whatever you prefer. So of course, one of the best parts of cooking is getting to enjoy what you made. Here is the finished product. And I'm going to go ahead and give it a try. Get some vegetables in there. Mmm. What a great dish. I really enjoy this spaghetti squash primavera. I hope you enjoyed watching me today make it up. Again, this is Vegetrends where we make eating your vegetables so much more fun. My name is Mackenzie. If you enjoyed today's content, I hope you'll subscribe to my channel or like this video. And I hope you'll check back. We have a lot of great videos coming. We have some great tips and tricks for making your cooking a little more healthy. Anyway, thanks for joining me.